हरे कृष्ण तब कथात तप्त जीवन कविरीत कलमशापहम श्रवण मंगल श्रीमदात भुवि घृणंती ते भूरिताजन द गोस्पिल ऑफ श्री रामाकृष्ण पार्ट वन मास्टर एंड डिसिप्ल इट वॉज ऑन ए संडे इन स्प्रिंग ए फ्यू डेज आफ्टर श्री रामाकृष्णस बर्थडे दैट मॉ मेट हिम द फर्स्ट टाइम श्री रामाकृष्ण लाइव एट द कालीबाड़ी द टेम्पल गार्डन ऑफ मदर काली ऑन द बैंक ऑफ द गैंजेज एट दक्षिणेश्वर मॉ बींग एट लीजर ऑन संडेज हैड गर्न विथ हिज फ्रेंड शिधु टू विजिट सेवरल गार्डन्स एट बड़ानगर एज दे वर वॉकिंग इन प्रसन्न बैनर्जीज गार्डन शिधु सेट देर इज ए चार्मिंग प्लेस ऑन द बैंक ऑफ द गैंजेज वेर ए परमहंसा लाइव्स शुड यू लाइक टू गो देयर मो एसेंटेड एंड दे स्टार्टेड इमिडिएटली फॉर द दक्षिणेश्वर टेम्पल गार्डन दे अराइव एट द मेन गेट एट डास्क एंड वेंट स्ट्रेट टू श्री रामाकृष्णस रूम एंड देयर दे फाउंड हिम सीटेड ऑन ए वुडन कोच फेसिंग द ईस्ट विथ ए स्मॉल ऑन हिज फेस ही वॉज टॉकिंग ऑफ गॉड द रूम वॉज फुल ऑफ पीपल ऑल सीटेड ऑन द फ्लोर ड्रिंकिंग इन हिज वर्ड्स इन डीप साइलेंस मो स्टूड देयर स्पीचलेस एंड लुकड ऑन इट वॉज एज इफ ही वेर स्टैंडिंग वेर ऑल द होली प्लेसेस मेट एंड एज इफ शुकदेव हिमसेल्फ वेर स्पीकिंग द वर्ड ऑफ गॉड और और एज इफ श्री चैतन्य वेर सिंगिंग द नेम एंड ग्लोरीज ऑफ द लॉर्ड इन पूरी विथ रामानंद स्वरूप एंड अदर डिवोटिज श्री रामाकृष्ण सेड वेन हियरिंग द नेम ऑफ हरी और रामा वंस यू शेड टीयर्स एंड योर हेयर स्टैंड्स ऑन एंड दे देन यू मे नो फॉर सर्टेन दैट यू डू नॉट हैव टू परफॉर्म सच डिवोशंस एज द संध्या एंड एनी मोर then only will you have a right to renounce rituals or rather rituals will drop away of themselves then it will be enough if you repeat only the name of rama or hari or even simply om continuing he said the sandhya merges in the gayatri and the gayatri merges in om Srima looked around him with wonder and said to himself what a beautiful place what a charming man how beautiful his words are i have no wish to move from this spot after a few minutes he thought let me see the place first then i will come back here and sit down as if left the room with shidhu he heard the sweet music of the evening service arising in the temple from gong bell drum and cymbal he could hear music from the navath too at the south end of the garden the sau sounds traveled over the ganges floating away and losing themselves in the distance a soft spring wind was blowing laden with the fragrance of flowers the moon had just appeared 
it was as if nature and man together were preparing for the evening worship Srima and Sridhu visited the 12th Shiva temples the Radha Kanta temple and the temple of Bhavatarini and as Ma watched the service before the images his heart was filled with joy on the way back to Sri Ramakrishna's room the two friends talked Sridhu told Sri Ma that the temple garden had been founded by Rani Rashmuni he said that god was worshiped here there daily as kali krishna and shiva and uh, that within the gates many sadhus and beggars were fed when they reached sri ramakrishna's door again they found it shut and blind and the maid standing outside sri ma who had been trained in english manners and would not enter a room without permission asked her is the holy man in bring the reply yes he is in the room sri ma how long has he lived here bring the oh he has been here a long time sri ma does he read many books bring the books oh dear no there there are all in his tongue mo had just finished his studies in college it amazed him to hear that sri ramakrishna read no books mo perhaps it is time for his evening worship may we give in to the room will you tell him we are anxious to see him bring the go right in children go in and sit down entering the room they found sri ramakrishna alone seated on the wooden couch incense had just been burnt and all the doors were shut as he entered sri ma with folded hands sal- saluted the master then at the master's bidding he and shidhu sat on the floor sri ramakrishna asked them where do you live what is your occupation why have you come to baranagar sri ma answered the questions but he noticed that now and then the master seemed to become absent minded later he learned that this mood is called bhav ecstasy it is like the state of the angler who has been sitting with his rod the fish comes and swallows the bait and the float begins to tremble the angler is on the alert he grips the rod and watches the float steadily and eagerly he will not speak to anyone such was the state of sri ramakrishna's mind later sri ma heard and himself noticed that sri ramakrishna would often go into his mood after dusk sometimes becoming totally unconscious of the outer world sri ma perhaps you want to perform your evening worships in that case may we take our leave sri rama krishna still in ecstasy no evening worship no it is not exactly that after a little conversation mo saluted the master and took his leave come again sri rama krishna said on his way home sri ma began to wonder who is this serene looking man who is drawing me back to him it is possible for a man to be great without being a scholar how wonderful it is 
आई शुड लाइक टू सी हिम अगेन ही हिमसेल्फ सेट कम अगेन आई सेल गो टू मोरो और द डे आफ्टर श्री मो सेकेंड विजिट टू राम श्री रामा कृष्णा टुक प्लेस ऑन द साउथ ईस्ट वरंदा एट एट ओ क्लॉक इन द मॉर्निंग द मास्टर वॉज अबाउट टू बी सेव्ड द बारबर हैविंग जस्ट अराइव एज द कोल्ड रिजन as the cold season still lingered he had put on a moleskin shawl bordered with red seeing mo the master said so you have come that's good sit down here he was smiling he stammered a little when he spoke sri ramakrishna to master to mo what do you live mo in calcutta sir sri ramakrishna where are you staying here mo i am at baranagar at my older sisters ishan kaviraj's kaviraj's house sri ramakrishna oh at ishan's well how is keshav's now he was very ill mo indeed i have Yet so too, but I believe he is well now. Sri Ramakrishna, I made a vow to worship the mother with green coconut and sugar on Keshav's recovery. Sometimes in the early hours of the morning, I would wake up and cry before her, "Mother, please make Keshav well again. If Keshav does not lie, whom shall I talk with when I?" go to calcutta and so it was that i resolved to offer her the green coconut and sugar tell me do you know of a certain mr cook who has come to calcutta it is true that he is giving lectures once keshav took me on a steamer and this mr cook too was in the party mo Yes, sir. I have heard something like that, but I have never seen. I have never been to his lectures. I don't know much about him. Sri Rama Krishna, Pratap's brother came here. He stayed a few days. He had nothing to do, and said he wanted to live here. I came to know that. he had left his wife and children with his father in law he has a whole brood of them so i took him to tusk just fancy he is the father of so many children will people from the neighborhood feed them and bring them up he isn't even assumed that someone else is feeding his wife and children and and that they have been left at his father in law's house i scolded him very hard and asked him to look for a job then he was willing to live here are you married shrima yes sir sri ramakrishna with a shudder oh ramlal alas he is married like one guilty of a terrible offence Mo sat motionless, his eyes fixed on the ground. He thought it is it is such a wicked thing to get married. The master continued, "Have you any children?" Mo, this time could hear the beating of his own heart. He whispered in a trembling voice, "Yes, sir, I have children." Very sadly, Sri Ram Krishna said. Ah me! He even has children. Thus, revoked Mo sat speechless. His pride had received a blow. After a few minutes, Sri Rama Krishna looked at him kindly and said affectionately, "You see, you have certain good signs. 
I know them by looking at a person's forehead, his eyes and so on. Tell me, now what kind of person is your wife? Has he spiritual attributes or is she under the power of Avidya? <coughs> Sorry. Mo, she is all right, but I am afraid he is ignorant, master, with evident discipline. And you were a man of knowledge. Mo, had you had yet to learn the distinction between knowledge and ignorance? Up to his time, his conception had been that one got knowledge from books and schools. Later on. He have gave his false conception. He was taught that to know God is knowledge and not to know Him ignorance. When Sri Ram Krishna explained, and you were a man of knowledge, Ma's ego was again badly shocked. Master, well, do you believe in God with form or without form? Ma, rather surprised, said to himself, How can I believe in God without form when one believes in God with form? And if you believe in God without form, how can I believe that God has, has a form? Can these two contradictory ideas be true at the same time? Can a while white liquid like milk be black? Ma, sir, I like to think of God as formless. Master, very good. It is enough to have faith on in either aspect. You believe in God without form? That is quite all right. But never for a moment think that this alone is true and all else false. Remember that God with form is just as true as God without form. But Hold first to your own conviction. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for wa visit, uh, watching my videos.